Hello everyone and there's a breaking news here. Electoral Commission INEC recognizes Julius Abure as Labour Party Chairman. This is Sahara Reporters, you know, reporting this uh, out here. This was communicated by the Secretary of the Commission, Mrs. Rose Oriaran Atoni, through a letter addressed to Barista Abure and Alhaji Umar Farouk Ibrahim. The crisis rocking the Labour Party LP has taken a new turn as the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has now recognized Julius Abure as the national chairman of the party. This was communicated by the secretary of the commission, Mrs. Rose Oriara Antoni, through a letter addressed to Barista Abure and Alaji Umar Farouk Ibrahim. Before I continue, you know, just to say, you know, there has been a lot that has been rocking the Labour Party, uh, 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 the Labour Party itself. First of all, the tenure of Abure uh, has expired, and then they had a sort of like a kangaroo convention uh in um not oka was not okabe one of this uh i've forgotten the name of the town but anyway in a we thinking it was in a we they had a, con a, a, con a convention there and i read i read, i make this say they didn't recognize that convention because they were not part of it and all of that and then there was a stakeholder meeting that was called together and a caretaker uh, uh committee a caretaker chairman was nominated this issue of the the court case that was done had been they had gone to court before even the caretaker uh this thing was done i'm sure there's an appeal that is going on but in the meantime INEC had at one time at one of the meetings that they normally have so apparently there's a quarterly meeting that INEC has with uh, leaders of parties chairpersons of party but usually they are all men there anyways and so and so the last one, they, there was some they had before, they had to ask Abure to leave the meeting because he was not recognized. But I remember also we did a video where there was a judgment that was won by that ju Justice Witte. <laughs> remember his name, when you'll be seeing a lot of his name in some things that are not like this, but are like kuri, kuri, kuri kind of thing. But anyway, Sha, so after the judgment, and I think based on that judgment is why they are calling him back now. But let me go back to the uh, uh, statement from uh, Sahara Reporters. It says, in the letter, both individuals were invited to the fourth consultative meeting with the political parties on Thursday in Abuja. It will be recorded that on October 8, 2024, the Federal High Court in Abuja declared that the 2024 Labour Party National Convention held in Newi and Ambra said in March as valid, uh, constitutional and in line with all laid down laws in Nigeria. Justice Emeka Witte, while delivering the judgment, had asked INEC to grant due recognition and all privileges to the uh, Labour Party's National Working Committee led by Aburi. Speaking to the media after the meeting the, uh, with INEC, the National Secretary of the Labour Party, Alaji Umar Farouk Ibrahim, had urged everyone to rally around Aburi. With the issue of leadership now completely resolved, I urge every member of the party to rally around the Abure leadership. What transpired uh, is only a family affair, and we will, as a family, work towards restoring confidence to the party and every aggrieved or misled member of the party. Labour Party will come back stronger, but we need everyone to join in the process of rebuilding the paper. The paper. It is a no victor, no vanquish uh, situation. We are all winners. The party is, however, supreme, and every member must work towards achieving set targets of the party, Ibrahim said. Abure's removal had come with controversy with the Labour Party candidate in the 2023 general election, Peter Obi, noting that Abure was removed based on the party constitution. It is unclear what his reaction and that of other stakeholders in the party will be to the latest, you know, uh, development. There were a lot of, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, comments that followed uh, this whole uh, happening that is going on. And then, of course, you know what it is. It is for a, a, a very weak Labour Party is something that... Uh, uh, that's in the interest of the APCs and the PDPs, most especially the APC, because they know uh, the, the, the one of the, the, the biggest 
contention or contender that they have who actually won the 2023 uh, uh, election is Mr. Peter Obi, who happens to be in Labour Party. And so everything and that can be done, will be done to destroy the party, definitely, you know, will be out there and they will do all they can to destroy it. But let me go down to read some of the uh, comments that people had put together uh, out here. Uh, this person, Ogbuka at Ogbuka, say it pains me more than he that he cashed out in billions from obedience, massive Nera uh, and forex donations to Labour Party bank account. I'm sure we've all become wiser going forward with our donations come 2027, cause it's possible, possible. So and then ADPC said, uh, so Obi is partyless in essence. Obi return to your natural about PDP, back to his structure of criminality. Well, that's what this person is saying. Then uh, Okeogene said, APC INEC will never cease to amaze me after orchestrating the biggest electoral fraud in the history of the nation. They still have the audacity to keep moving mad because Nigerians are what Labaja called 200 million mumu. And then Ogochuku said, that's it. But when the party says that they don't want him, they will cease to know him. And now we have uh, uh, Robin Van Havers uh, saying, uh, Peter Obi has got to join a better party. This dude has tarnished the image of Labour Party. Uh, John Okoye said, Abude is a useless and selfish man. Uh, M Square said, how about the other short Igbo man? Uh, Bashorun of Last Giddy uh, says, we're leaving Labour Party for them. This uh, this uh, do man is deep down APC member and he will be worse than Papa Apata. He's already corrupt. Uh, Buruju Alaya Pupo or Adoni Laya or JB said, Kai, this is another maneuver. Pito B and Uti will not be happy with the development. Both men will have to go on their knees and beg Aburi if they want to be the LP candidate in 2027. And he had laughing emojis. Uh, Victor Bassi said, this is to frustrate any obese future presidential aspirations. I think he should leave the party. Uh, then we have ha 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 Einek in the back this time in memoria, says this person. Uh, Chijoke says, useless INEC, uh, he, oh, he didn't say INEC, he said INCE. I don't talk, um, I don't talk, and we still say it again. Let the military organize this country because danger, they front, they win. Some people think that the military itself is not danger. We had military rule for so many years. What did Nigeria get out of it other than brutality, bad governance, and destruction of the economy? Uh, also, uh, then Dr. Dre said, What has an umpire to do with the game? APC using everyone that allows themselves to be used. Then I think I'll just stop here with the comments and just say to every one of us that, uh, well, at this moment, I'm looking at it, I'm saying, Okay, APC, uh, INEC, do I really blame INEC? Do we, uh, what do I say about INEC? Because at the end of the day, probably INEC will say it's obeying the, 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 the court ruling, uh, there's a court of um, competent jurisdiction in Nigeria that has gone on. To make this pronouncement that uh, the uh, Labour Party chairman, the former Labour Party chairman, Abude should be reinstated, and I could probably say that's what they're following. But hey, you and I know that there's a lot of gimmick maneuver and everything going on because of the 2027 uh, 20, election that is uh, coming. And of course, we know who won the 2023 election, and these people that have come in have not had the capacity to do anything other than to destroy Nigeria. So they are not even in doubt that nobody is going to vote for them. even the votes that they had before, they're most likely not, not going to get uh, those votes. So they will do everything to cause whatever mayhem, chaos, and all sorts of things that need to be done. The thing remains, what is it that we, the people, are going to do? Thank you so much for watching. Bye.